So let's look at this example problem. Find the area of a triangle with side lengths 20 inches, 20 inches, and 24 inches. Okay, so when you get a problem like this, a good first step is why don't we go ahead and sketch a picture of what's going on. So let's see here. Right, so let's say this is 20 inches, this is 20 inches, and this is 24 inches. Okay, so there's our triangle. Now, because we have two side lengths that are the same, this is an isosceles triangle, so we can go ahead and sketch that in there. Now, the area of a triangle in general is one half the base times the height. Now, the base is easy enough. That's the base is 24 inches. So there's the base of our triangle. But what about this height? So we need this height right here, and remember the height goes from uh, a vertex to the opposite side, and it is perpendicular to that opposite side. All right, now to get this height h, we're going to make the following, uh, well, it's not an observation, this was a theorem back in... Uh, geometry that says if you have the altitude of an isosceles triangle it is also the median. So the altitude of an isosceles triangle is also the median. And so the median basically takes a triangle side and uh, turns it into two congruent sides. It's, it's the midpoint right there. So that means if this whole thing's 24, then each of these is 12. So this side length here is 12. And notice also that when we draw this altitude, we end up with a nice right angle. So here we have a right triangle. And so we can use the Pythagorean theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we would have um, 12 squared plus h squared equals 20 squared. So that is 144 plus h squared equals 400. So h squared is um, 256, and h is 16. And so now we can go back, and our area is 1 half. The base is 24 inches. The height is 16 inches. And so our area ends up being, let's see here, um, what's 24 times 8? To carry the three is one hundred ninety-two inches squared, and there we go. All right, so that was a nice little problem where we ended up having to uh, use our little bit of knowledge of geometry and our knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem to help us find the area of that 